is one of the most dangerous maneuvers in the military. Taking off and landing a jet at sea. Pilots have to navigate a flight deck that heaves up and down on the waves and is only roughly 500 feet long. When landing, the pilot lowers a metal bar that hooks onto cables strong enough to stop a speeding aircraft. Errors, both pilot and mechanical, can lead to disasters. The Mediterranean Sea, December 28, 1982. The crew of the USS America is conducting a training exercise off the coast of Lebanon. An A-7 Corsair attack jet is on approach for landing. The hook and cables appear to bring the 29,000-pound jet to a stop. But then it lunges forward, forcing the pilot to eject. The jet plunges into the sea. as the pilot slams into the side of the ship. Shipmates rush to help the unconscious airmen. An investigation shows that the hook and cables work perfectly. But when the cables are released to allow the plane to taxi, the jet's engine throttle becomes stuck. The tires smoke as the pilot hits the brakes, but it's not enough to stop the plane from going over the edge. Wind across the deck of the ship fills the pilot's chute, pulling him off the side of the massive vessel. His shipmates' lightning-quick reactions keep the airmen from being blown into the sea. The veteran pilot is critically injured, suffering five cracked ribs and a broken hip. But he survives. As for the A7 Corsair, it's a $3 million loss. 